Hello. Is this gonna be scary? I'm just gonna, I guess, just finish cleaning up my apartment, sort of. Tried my best to, anyways. And then now I'm trying to figure out like what I need to do for the rest of the day. So the first thing I'm thinking about is my friend's birthday is coming up next week and she told me not to get her anything. So I was thinking I would make her something. And even though it's like in the middle of the summer right now, I'm thinking of um, maybe knitting her a scarf because I have the materials for it. And I feel like there's a slight chance she would wear it when the weather gets cold. But doing that would mean I have to dig out all of my knitting stuff, which is, I don't even know where they are right now. But there's that. I also need to make a dent in my books. If there's just, there's a lot. <laughs> but we'll see what happens. Okay, I had to change. Working with yarn always makes, it gets hot. All right, so this is the yarn that we're gonna be working with. Alpaca yarn. This stuff is expensive. It was like $6 for one of them, or was it like $10 for one of them? Anyways, crafting is expensive. Buying it from the store would be cheaper, but where's the fun in that? This can go in the garbage. So this stuff here, I don't remember what it's called anymore. An umbrella something. It's a winder thing. And it's meant to turn this into a ball of yarn. So like you wind this up into a skein. A skein. As you can tell, I'm not an organized person. But it's fine. The last time I used this, it didn't work out so well. So I don't know how it's going to turn out this time around. Okay. Hi, hey, Amber. Uh, okay, and then this thing goes here. Is this, which way is this going? Wow, that took forever. And this goes here, but... Oh god, I don't know. Oh, where does this go? Oh, like this? And then you do that, okay. And draw, like that. I think, I think so. And then does this. Oh, oh god, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, okay. This is so dangerous. See, this is where the umbrella thing comes in. Like, it's an umbrella something. Is there gonna be enough space? We'll have to see. Okay, set it up. Oh, this is too big. I guess I'll just lower it. Is this gonna be okay now? Still too big. There, there's gotta be an easier way to do this. Mm -hmm. Is this still too big? Stretch. Stretch it. I'm like already sweating. I don't want to screw up. And I think I I do some I do God. What am I doing? How do I do this? I don't know. Okay, whatever. And then this goes like this. What I should do now is just Oh my god. Are you seeing this? Is it working? Oh my god, it, it so is working. I joined. Oh no, I screwed it up! What is going on? How did this even happen? What? I don't know if this is working. I can't see what's going on really because it's so blurry. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's kind of successful. Okay. All right, let's do two more. I'm gonna take a break. This took 
45 minutes. I thought the scarf design was unique because she made this, I think it's called an eye cord that outlines the entire scarf. But I just, I'm not sure how I feel about these stitches. I like the um, docknet stitch a lot better. But these ones are cute too. There's this dog barking, I don't know what he's barking at. Um, I can't stop smiling right now because I've just been reading. I don't know for how long. I can't remember when I started. I just know that I had a really good time because the book that I was reading is starting to pick up and I'm just really excited about it. So I was reading The Goldfinch by Donna Tartt and this book is long. It doesn't look long but um, the pages are big and the font is quite small. My story with this book, I think, began a few years ago when a friend of mine told me she was reading it and I was very interested about it. So I also picked it up. I remember like it was just very slow in the beginning and I think I got about like a hundred pages in and I just kind of left it. And then when I moved I think I must have given it away because I can't find it anymore. I don't know where it went. This copy is from the library and I've just been reading it for the past couple of days. It's overdue. So I'm determined to finish it before they charge me. Yeah, I'm currently about halfway through. I just need to say like around the 250 page mark, I was getting very like restless because nothing was happening. The main character is Theo, and when he was 13, his mother died in an accident. And so, basically, up until now, there's only, like only two years has passed, and we're living through his life with him for the past two years. It got to a point where I felt like this book is too long for what it is, but finally, finally, things started picking up, and I am very excited to see what is about to happen like there were a few moments where I like I teared up I feel like because of the build-up of um, where he's been all that he's been through all of that caused me to tear up but did it really need to take 200 pages I don't know I'm finally seeing a light at the end of the tunnel okay this book just felt like a monster to pick up it is so thick but I'm finally halfway through so that is exciting and it made me very happy. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, no, come back. Um, I'm about to meet my friend for lunch, but I just wanted to show you guys the finished product quickly. Last night, I finished blocking this. I went out and I got some wool soap. Um, you just kind of soak it in there because machine wash might be bad for it. That's what I did with this. And this is the final product. It's like, it's very long. It's very long. 
and when you wrap it around i hope she doesn't mind <laughs> when you wrap it around i think usually i would just do one wrap but it's a little long when it's like that or you can i suppose do two the one thing that i feel that maybe this yarn is not great for is it doesn't hold the shape very well it kind of you know sags but i mean for a handmade scarf i feel like this is pretty good the soap that i bought yesterday is supposed to be grapefruit scented the lady at the store had three scents and they were grapefruit eucalyptus and jasmine i picked the grapefruit one because it smelled the most subtle um the other two were just a little too heavy but then i forgot that just because it smells one way in the bottle doesn't mean that it's gonna smell that way on the garment so now this has like a smoky flavor to it i don't know why i rinsed it twice even though the soap is a no rinse soap but anyways i suppose like once you soak it a few more times in plain water then it should be fine we'll see gotta go meet her for lunch now i think i'll end the vlog here i mean last week was not the most productive week for me personally but i finished a scarf so at least this is physical proof that i did something with my time okay bye